MTD network have travelled all the way to Sunderland today to Kale Engineering. This is a fabulous facility, two facilities in fact, Steve. We're in the second of the, the two facilities. How You've got a rich history, how did Kale start? Kale probably started ne nearly 50 years ago now and uh, we've just progressed from there. We were always just on one site. About two years ago we, 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 we moved into this site um, and we, we started to, to do a lot of work with Rolls-Royce as a repair centre. Uh, so 50% of the production on here, it's all larger on the second site. We tend to do the large turn parts and the large mill part for some of their rotating fixtures. And on the, on the first site you do, you do batch work, production work? Yeah, yeah, we tend to have quite a range of machines down there, starting from as little as like quarter inch diameter right up until like underneath 400 mil diameter. And, the, and the, the largest capacity on this site is up to 900 mil diameter swing, is that correct, Steve? No, it's slightly larger, 1.2 meter we can turn on a diameter. And with the, old, the same machine has a milling capability as well. So that's the vertical lathe with milling capability. Yep. On the other side, you've got the Matsuras with fifth axis uh, capability. You've got the Nakamuras, um, twin spindle, um, and, and, and you've also got the EDM machine. Yeah, yeah, we, um, we've got two sections of EDM. We've got one down here and one up there, um, up the other side. So we tend to, if there's any type of job where we've got, see, a, a batch work on there, then if we do need the odd one or two that we can do it at either side. And here you've got some of your latest investments, the Doosons. Yeah, the, this, this machine next to us here, this was our last investment. This gives us a much, much bigger capability on vertical machine and centres. We've got two and a half metres in the X and just under a metre. It allows us to basically not have to move parts to get them through. And because the table's so big, we can handle two orders in one go because we get a lot of production where we, get, we actually have to stop what we're doing being a service and repair centre, you know. I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to see some of the components you were making on the Matsuras, some of the really complex components, and, and, it, and it really highlights the skill set that you've also got here at, at Kale. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we've got a, about 30 people now, haven't we, working between the both sites. Um, we've got some very skilled guys, obviously, in both ends. Obviously, a lot of the guys down here tend to run at least two machines. Um, we've got obviously multi-skilled engineers working both milling machines and the EDM machines as well. You, you're making components, but you're also making bespoke, dedicated fixturing. And, and would you be happy to take on work from new customers on bespoke, dedicated fixturing? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can, de we can do a little bit of le a level of design and you know a bit of our input there because we know quite a lot about work holding. Well, I, I mean. For me, it's been a, a real pleasure to visit this site. I mean, you've invested heavily in the latest technology. You know, you, you can see see this. Um, and, and, how, and just to wrap up, really, how important is it to, to keep reinvesting in the latest technology, which you told me that you do, Steve? Yeah, we try and not keep our machine tools any more than seven or eight years. That it basically means when we come to sell them secondhand, we get a reasonable value back for them, which allows us to go on and invest in something newer you know, bring up the deer technology.